Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro here. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how border layout managers work in Java. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Let's discuss border layouts. A border layout is used within a container to place components in one of five major areas. They are north, south, west, east, and center. So here's some code that I've written for an example. You don't need to copy this. We'll get to this later. I have created five separate panels and I gave them all a unique color. I have attached one of these panels to one of the borders. So panel one is attached to the north, then panel two to the west, east, south, and then center. Let's see what this looks like. So lo and behold, this is a border layout. The center panel will expand in size proportionately to the size of the frame. The top and bottom borders, they will expand horizontally, but not vertically when you resize this frame. And with the west and the east borders, they will expand vertically, but not horizontally when you expand this frame. Here's some uses of a border layout. You can use the north border for some sort of title. You can use the west or the east border for some sort of sidebar or navigation bar. You can use the south border for some sort of footer for your program. And the center border, you can use this for the, I would say, main part or main body of your program. So let's recreate what we witnessed step by step. So first we'll need a JFrame. So JFrame frame equals new JFrame. Frame dot set default close operation JFrame dot exit on close. Let's set a size. So frame dot set size. I'll make this 500 by 500. And frame dot set visible and set this to true. Let's create some panels. So J panel, we'll call this panel one equals new J panel. And we'll create the other panels as well. So two, three, four, five. Let's give them all a color. So let's begin with panel one, panel one dot set background. And this was red. So color dot red. Let's do the same for the others. So we have panel two, three, four, five. The second panel, this was green, but you can pick whatever colors you want. Doesn't matter. Three was yellow. Four was magenta, and five was blue. And before we add these panels to our frame, we need to set up the frame with a border layout. So this is normally the default layout manager, but you'll need to do this for other layout managers though. So to change the layout manager, you type in the name of the container, in this case it's our frame, dot set layout, and then you pass in a new layout manager. So if we want to set up a container with a border layout, we type in new border layout. So for our frame, this isn't going to do anything, but if you're doing this with a panel or other container, you would need to set this up with a new border layout. And lastly, we just need to add these panels to our frame. So frame dot add. What are we adding? We're adding a component, our panel. So let's add panel one. And then to set a component to one of the borders, when you add this component, you add a comma and then type in border layout dot and then the direction. So we can set this to north if we want this attached to the top. So now at the top of this program, we have a red bar, our red panel. This will expand uh, horizontally, but not vertically. And we can actually change the dimensions on this. So this is panel one. Uh, changing the width won't do anything, but we can change the height though for this. So if we set this to 50, you can see it has half the height now, but the width still expands to accommodate the size of the frame. Let's add the other panels. So it's the same process as before. 
frame.add, let's add panel two, and panel two we'll put on the west. So border layout.west. And then we have this green sidebar that you saw previously. So this will expand vertically, but not horizontally. And we can even change the dimensions for this. So this time I'm going to change the width to 50 and the height will stay the same because it doesn't really matter. So now the width of this panel is cut in half because we changed this from 100 to 50. And let's finish by adding the others. So panel three, this will be on the east. So border layout.east. Here's our east panel. And then we have south. So this will be panel four, border layout.south. And then of course, center. So panel five, border layout dot center. Just like this. So one option available to you is that you can add margins between these components. This is how we can do that. So when we set a container, our frame with a new border layout, when we pass in a new border layout, we can actually send in some margins for the width and margins for the height. So let's say that we want 10 pixels of margin for the width and zero for the height. This is what this might look like. So with the west and the east panels, they have 10 pixels worth of margin. Now let's do that with the height this time. So now we'll have 10 pixels of margin for the width and the height between all these panels. So now all of these components are now separated by 10 pixels worth of margin. So if you need to add margin between components, you can just pass them in when you create a new border layout. Here's an advanced trick that you can do. With these panels, they can also act as a container with their own layout manager, and they use something called a flow layout manager by default. So let's say that we want to add some panels within our center panel, kind of like sub panels. This is how we can do that. So I'm just going to copy everything we have just to save time, uh, beginning when we create these instances of our panels to when we set the size for the panels. So I'm just going to add a comment that these are sub panels. So it's the same process as before, really, but let's call these panels 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we're going to change the colors for these as well, so make sure to change the name. Okay, so with panel 6, let's say that this is black. Panel 7 will be dark gray. Panel 8 will just be gray. Panel 9 will be light gray and panel 10 will just be white. So we need to uh, set panel five with a new border layout because uh, with our frame, we added a new border layout to this, but now panel five is also acting as our container. So we can set this with its own unique layout manager. So with panel five, set this to a new border layout. Then we need to set a preferred size for each of these panels. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's say that these are all going to be 50 by 50. I'm just going to copy this a bunch of times to save time. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we can add these sub panels to panel five, which is the center panel. So it's the same process that we did with our frame. So instead of saying frame, panel five is going to act as the container. So panel five dot add, let's add panel six. So panel six comma, then if we want to add this to the north border, we type in border layout dot north. And this is what this currently looks like. So we have a panel within another panel and let's add the others. 
So panel five dot add panel seven. Uh, but make sure you change this to a different border. So let's change that to the south. There we go. So panel five dot add panel eight. Let's add this to the west. Here it is. Panel five dot add panel nine. This will go on the east. And then lastly, we have the center panel. So that's panel five dot add panel 10 border layout dot center. And there it is. I don't really see the point of this, but I just wanted to let you know that you can do stuff like this. So that's the basics of using border layouts in Java. If you want a copy of all this code, I'll post all of this in the comments down below. But yeah, that's how border layouts work in Java. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.